Number discussion episode 24 like I'm Kobe Show. Stop playing. Bitch, you coming, man? Little snippet. Little snippet. I'm gonna really do too much. My brother got some fire coming. My brother got some fire coming for you. We can't let y'all get a whole taste though. Hey, Frigid, I swear we're crazy on this thing, bro. Shout out my man Connor, man. Shout out my man Frigid. This is dummy. I did something with this. Yes, sir. Shorty said she want me when she crazy. Shorty said she want to have my baby. Run, run. Yeah, yeah, Mercedes. Mercedes. yeah, you know I do this on the daily. Baby girl, why you drive me crazy? Baby girl, why you do it, baby? Ain't no I'm doing okay. Ain't no I'm doing okay. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, that's man. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That gotta be it. Really that gotta be much, it, though. Man. That's gonna be something somebody take and put on SoundCloud. Really Our voice is gonna be behind much. it. They're gonna try to post a snippet. A little really. bit of snippet. <laughs> they gonna call they it. Get they popping like that. They're gonna be like, damn, I got. Oh, damn. They're gonna remember one line from it. They're gonna title it New Mercedes. It's gonna be us shopping over it, man. But nothing but discussion. We just gotta let y'all know. Biz, how you, what was you thinking when, the, when you was in the studio and you made that jump? Was you like, dang, I'm rich? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, say? I was just, went to that joint, did that joint, one take, easy. Like, killed that joint, like, did a one take, my man's, chopped it up, and then, like, I just redid some parts that I recorded better, and then just punched in each time, and boom, bada, bada. Boom, bada, bada. I heard that joint, I think, last beep. night, bro. Bye. That joint was going. I was like, because look, bro, I'm honest. Anytime you show me your music, I'm honest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know if I'm not really feeling the song. You know if I'm feeling the song. Like, I, I keep it 100 with you. And there's songs I really like by you, but that joint, that joint was hard. It was hard yeah, to me that's because like it's different. like, that's different yeah, I'm about to say. Because, like, I that's don't really think saying. people would like that. I just made that joint because I like how it sounded, honestly. Like, and that me, joint, and, me and Connor, we, we were really, like, vibing with it. Like, we thought that joint was tough, but, like, you know what I'm saying? I just, like, that's something different. Like, I'm making, like, I don't know. Even on different shit. Yeah, basically. So you like, do you feel like you you had a sound and now you don't like you don't mess with your old sound? Right now, I feel like I'm trying to like find and like trying to try different shit, like new sounds and shit. So like my shit doesn't sound repetitive and like I keep people like interested or some shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Would you be interested in like some international type stuff? I don't, I don't know, cause like that rave shit, like that shit. I don't know if I would be like into that dubstep. Shit, I mean, like, like when I say international, I mean like just, like try and type music from different countries. Like you can get on I mean, like, like an Afrobeat type jump. Oh yeah, I would get on. The you Afro go crazy in Afro- Give me some auto tune. I'm gonna go. Well, I, I think you go dummy on the Afrobeat. No, you cap- might go harder than Midas. Shout out simple. to Midas, Jagabon shorty. She be going dummy too on the Afrobeat. Oh shit! But let me go ahead and get us into this jump, man. Number discussion. Thank y'all for tuning in again, man. We we appreciate this love. No cap. We out here grinding it out, man. We we doing our thing though. You see us. You can't. Hey, hold you on. can't not see Before us. Before we do anything, make sure. Y- Y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's how I get into. I was about to do that next. Okay, 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 you got it. Go ahead, go ahead. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Hey, follow the um fucking uh Apple Music page. Yes, sir. Do follow that. the motherfucking SoundCloud page. Follow Spotify. all the social media and Twitter no and Instagram. Yet. We ain't got a no SoundCloud yet. We don't got a SoundCloud yet. We got. We, we probably got gonna have that later on. We, we really song. haven't been paying attention to that really so much, but fuck it. Um, but yeah, follow us on everything, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just tap in with us, man. Us, tap in with us. You like, see, it, you how see could you not doing, support you two doing, young bro. black men trying to eat out here? Like that's just like it's you just hating simple, if you're not bro. supporting. Like we really grinding, bro. We're a year and some change deep. Into yeah, this hey, time, it's about to be a year. Um, what, like a few months. I promise. August, you, I, I, August, I thought it was three months. I thought it's already been a year, huh? It's been two years since we came up with the idea. Oh, okay. But it's about to be a year. Um, in October since our first episode dropped. Yeah, that'll be cra- that's gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's dedication. That that's, that's that's dedication. I don't know what we're gonna do in the episode, but we gotta do something special, so, something different. You can teed up off the drinks. Okay, and just chop it up. We give you might give you a two hour pot on our on our uh, Joe Rogan shit, something like that. I no don't cap, know. no cap. Go just, dummy. Just say fuck it. Also, uh, make sure y'all share this jump too. We we ain't say that. Uh, just yeah, tell everybody bro. about it, man. Just you know, let us know. I feel like how you doing right now, though, man. I'm chilling, bro. I'm I'm doing good, bro. I've been just really just chilling, vibing lately. Lately, life been good, shit. bro. Life been good. 
I got my first film job, man. Oh yeah, congrats on that, bro. bro that I was just, really that's really major, bro. For bro, real. like, and I don't like thank you, man. I don't um I only announce stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that's something like I feel like it was an actual accomplishment because I don't give myself like props sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody give me props. Like remember the other day when I made the video, I kept asking y'all over and over, and y'all was like, "Yes, we like this." I, <laughs> and y'all thought I was trying to fish for compliments, but yeah, like, yeah. But no, I. Don't, I don't know. It's just nah, like I was I, just playing when I said that. I know, no, no. I, I ain't taking it serious. But yeah. I'm just like, it's just like when I do something, I don't really give myself actual props. That time, yeah, that was yeah. just crazy. It was God, though, for real. Yeah, that's just amazing. This is like everything happened naturally, but organically. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nothing was forced or, you know you know what I'm saying? And the client liked the product. Paid me more yeah, than what bro. I asked, too. Yeah, bro. It's, yeah. I, and I, so, again, look, I'm now just saying that to say. probably going to do business in the future, maybe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just all about building your clientele. And then she goes to tell somebody else about your work. And then Hopefully. that's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just a domino effect. Also, if y'all, uh, that, that's just let y'all know, I can do videographer work, too. I can uh, edit. Yeah, yeah. Of course, y'all shit. Tap in with my boy. Hey, no cap. Tap in with me, for real. Yeah, I have no your, cap. I have your hey. jump looking right. Yeah. Soon to be something else coming out soon that I can do, too, that y'all going to see real soon. Versatile. Yes, sir. Damn. Let's get into this pod though, man. I over the weekend though, before we get into any topics, you sent me a video. Uh, actually, over the week, not the weekend. You sent me a video, bro, of dude at a Smash Bros tournament, and dude was like oh was sitting next God. to this one like nerd looking dude, like he ain't been out of the basement in three months, like he just stink. And no disrespect to like nerd people out there, no disrespect to y'all, but pe- <laughs> the nerds like this disrespect to y'all. What's wrong with y'all, bro? He was tweaking out. He was he was like this. <laughs> and like trying to like rage up and level bro, up, like bro, relax. Like, what goes through their mind when they do shit like that? Like I'm about to like go crazy or like <laughs> I'm about to get some powers that I've never had before. You remind me I'm of that just... story I told you when I was back in <laughs> back in high school. Yeah. We was playing dodgeball, and this dude <laughs> I was standing next to the white dude. <laughs> they was like, "All right, y'all, y'all ready?" He, he said, he put his hands up like this, and he said, "Ah!" <laughs> I looked up to the sky. I was like, "Yo, what are you about to do?" <laughs> like, but no, like, it just like annoys me because they always like, like Smash Bros. That's a fun game, but if you go right. to an event, you gonna look like you one of them. Right. That's the thing, and it's like sometimes you gotta discriminate. Bullying is okay for certain people, like, bro, what is you on? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It, it builds character. Sometimes it builds character. It, like, <laughs> it changes. It really you. does. It it really does. You've been bullying. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I've been bullied one time when I was in like first grade type shit. Like this one nigga named Kevin. This one. He was uh, he was like taller than everybody, and then like so like he, we would just be like doing stuff or whatever, and then like he would be like he would be like yeah if you don't do this I'm gonna do this to you. So I'm like all right I'm sorry I'm sorry until one day I was like uh, I said something to him I think like my uncle had came and get got. Oh, some he was going that day. Like my he got me some McDonald's and I was like, and then I was like yeah. At first, and like, Kevin was like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, but I'll let you get some of my McDonald's if you like. <laughs> you trying to get a pass. You trying to get like, chill. You chill. <laughs> he was like, he was like, I right, bet. And then, so, like, after that, like, he tried to, like, like, I think he tried to do some more, like, fuck shit. And then, so, I was like, hell, no. Nah, you can't have no more McDonald's. But he's like, bro, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, nah, nah, bro. So, I, and then, I was like, bro, if you keep if you keep messing with me, like, next time my uncle come with some McDonald's, you ain't getting that. <laughs> And so after that he was like, all right, bro, I'm sorry, bro. And he ain't never and he ain't you. never messed with me again. And then so one time I said it again, he was like, But your uncle's not gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you was using your brain though. You was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you was thinking. I just gotta let y'all know something else before I think of a story if I ever got bullied. Um today we we dedicate to this pod shit, man, because today was a day. Today was a crazy day. We went to the barbershop, bro. Usually we go off the Earl. I ain't even gonna cut. He ain't, he's just rocking with us. I did, yeah. We going in the afternoon. I'm on the way back. We coming to pile for y'all. Boop. Nailing my tire. I'm like, dang. For some reason, I don't know. I was being stupid. I was trying to get past somebody. They was getting on my nerves. Because I just wanted to help me get there. And I wasn't really thinking. You know, you're not thinking, but you should be thinking. Yeah. It was like one yeah. of them. I wasn't thinking. Matt telling me, bro, don't drive faster. I sped up a little bit. Tire, nail come out. Tire gets shredded. And it was like we was going back and forth, back and forth, trying to get my car, and then we here now. Yeah, it's been a crazy day, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's been an eventful day. Yeah, it's about to be an eventful night too, but I mean. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, but let me think. Please though. keep the peace, everyone. <laughs> everyone out there, I just want to say please keep the peace out there in these streets. It's really dangerous out here, so I just want to say be safe. Yeah, All right. you gotta, you gotta I mean be, that. You got to be careful, bro. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, But let me think, though. I don't know if I've ever been bullied, though. I don't, I'm trying to think. Yeah, you've always been the bully. I've not always been the bully because oh, I wasn't. Me. I wasn't I say, look. Let me just think. That boy, three. bad news. He and me. <laughs> this is sad. When I was in preschool, I ain't never <laughs> get bullied. I ain't never get bullied. When I was in elementary school, let me think. Nah, I ain't never get bullied in elementary school. Nah, okay, I ain't never get bullied. But I remember like one time, like this dude. It was like one of those I let him borrow. It was I let him borrow my aunt from Chuck E. Cheese. It was a toy. Aunt? It oh. was a toy. It was a toy. Nah, the boy had a bug outside. <laughs> it was like, like, here you go. And he took that jump and he didn't give it back. And then like I was like, I kept pressing him every day, but he like he kept lying. But Mayfield, nah, I ain't never get bullied. Mets, nah, I ain't. Uh. I feel like I have, and I'm just skipping over something though. I feel like I had. Nah, okay, okay. It's this dude. Though. Okay, this one I understand. I was like, it's this dude. It was that Mets, but like we was good. We'd be geeking. Like we'd be geeking. He was like one, like one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if there's any listeners that don't know what Mets is, that's middle school. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, our yeah. seventh, eighth grade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, he was like one of them niggas that be on like some other shit. But he would be geeking, and then like anytime I fell asleep. But dude was big, bro. Like seventh grade, I was not tall. I was like, I was probably like five foot exactly, maybe okay. five two. Yeah. He big. He had a beard. Everything. <laughs> we be geeking. I fall asleep. You talking about who I think it is? Yeah. All right. Okay. He be like this. <laughs> I did right, and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for y'all ears. I just laugh loud. <laughs> like I'd be like, damn, like, all right. <laughs> and then you gotta play it off because, like, I, I knew, like, if I, I knew if I was like on that with him, he would try to like go, get like that. And I was like, and it was like I was scared to fight nobody, but I'm like, I know for a fact I'm too little. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not enough right now. One, give me a few years and I might be there with you. But he grew early, bro. He had muscles, everything. He was dunking. I'm like, yo, we we eleven. Anyway, he kept. Yo, so when I said that, he went. Oh yeah, 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 you guys went the hey. fuck out of his ear. He plucked <laughs> the fuck out of that nigga ear. Right, <laughs> <laughs> ear was on fire, bro. And then look, the thing is, you be sleep. So I was like this, dude, go like this, and then I wake up. I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, and then like so. So you kind of, you got, that's like geeking, like, ah, uh-huh, like, uh, you got me, yeah, like, the yeah. whole time, I was like, bro, just wait, just hey, wait, yeah. bro, wait on it, bro, I'm gonna be your size pretty hey, soon. Yeah. Nazir was having a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up. But, you know, I was having a good sleep, too, because, you know, like, regardless, I'm sleeping in the class if I want to, but it'll be computer class, so I finished my work early, had nothing to do, literally could sleep. <laughs> I'd be asleep, he'd still be working, he'd be, he like this, I'm sorry I get the noise on the mic, he'd be, I don't know if I did it, but it'd be like, it'd be like woof. Right on my ear. Hey, yo, bro. That's probably the only time I, I can think of. I still woke up confused and hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it, started, it started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Uh, he, was like, he was like, this is <laughs> And I wake up. <laughs> hey, I think I caught one from him, too, bro. You did? His endurance was no joke. Because hey, he, he had the big ass fingers, bro. His fingers nigga was eight like, man, nigga. It was a grown <laughs> man, in, grown in man, grade, bro. He had your type beard, seventh grade, nigga bro. Nigga had this shit, bro. Your type beard, I'm nigga like, had a little bit less than this. Mind you, mind you, sixth grade. Mind you, I'm gonna give you a perspective grade. about how little I was. Mind you, when I was a freshman in high school, everybody to me, I really I thought they was grown men. I was like, these niggas is huge. These niggas got beards. I felt like you ever seen Alvin and Chipmunks when he went to high school, <laughs> and he was like, yo, look at everybody. <laughs> That's, that was me freshman year, bro. I was puny. <laughs> bro, me too. Especially the seniors were looking like grown men. But like I remember I was walking out of school. I didn't know where to go already. Like, I felt bro. like a high school music, movie or something like that. Bro, for real. I was like, yo, what's going on, bro? I should not be this little. I'm like, this, this place is too big. Like, Yeah. Too big. And then you get bigger. You're like, this on puny there. Like, yeah. I'm like, what was I, what was I tripping yeah. about? Yeah, that's just for perspective. But I, besides that, no. I ain't never been bullied. I, I, wasn't, I was never a bully, but sometimes I would take stuff too far. I would take stuff too far. Like some one time, stuff was bullying. Some of that I consider some of that shit. Bullying. Name one right now that was bullying. Because I think bullying is when you do something. <laughs> when you do something on the regular, and dude did flick my ears. Not on the regular, but every often. <laughs> he flicked my ears often. So that was he's bullying the shit out of my ears. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that nigga was the ear bully. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey no, nah, but um, wait, what I do that I did on a regular? Like, yeah, sometimes I'll just be OD. Uh, Thank you. Okay, I I, I, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be bullying. I guess it harassment. Would be t- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, who? What I do when it was harassment? The one time when I was, I was like, pissing I, in the I, bathroom, you harassed that nigga while he was peeing. I thought you about to say what we was talking about the other day. What was talking about the other day? <laughs> Remember the time when uh, we dropped dude off that was with us, and he had something, and he was like, he about to go, and I was like, what do you I grabbed his shirt. Oh, and I was like, yeah. You was like, where do you think you're going? That was harassment. And, like, yeah, was a- <laughs> and he was like, in like, like, ready to fight you, like. He was tensing up, and then I was like, "What you? What you think you about to do? You think you about to steal me? Like you're not about to steal <laughs> I'm me?" I'm serious, messing with the dude, and he's yeah, taking I was him playing. So I wasn't being serious. serious, and I'm like, "Not serious. If you don't let this nigga go, bro." And then like the nigga is like kind of shook a little bit. I can see it in his eyes. <laughs> he but saw it in like, his eyes. That's yeah, bro. Like I see him ready, to, and like his house is like. 20 steps away <laughs> he, <laughs> was, he was almost safe <laughs> Bro He was He was like home free Until Nasir grabbed his arm Was like No Damn. his shirt, his oh, shirt. His I shirt. grabbed his shirt like this Damn Stretched his shirt out He was probably. in the back of the car And I his was like His shirt this. had Nasir's claw prints After that You know after what Nasir bro got I know he was sick Cause he's like And confused Because like We're alive Like imagine you with some people All night y'all chilling Having geeking, fun Having fun Y'all leave Damn my voice crack You're having fun Going back You getting dropped off Dude, go boom! Like we, really, you think you about to step with that? Like bro, we was just chilling, bro. <laughs> what you doing, bro? And then like they see you balling your fist, and they like, like what you, you think you about to steal me? Because I'm gonna eat that joint. Like I'm, I'm not going for it. Nah, that's what I'm saying. He was ready though. You know, I was wasn't ready. going for it though. Mm. Fifty piece, fifty mm. piece from Greece. Mm. He let y'all know he comes Shut for you, boy, even Giannis, if you ain't man. pay Damn, for your lease. Going dummy out there. Bro. Son's got a victory Legendary from the finals. Performance Game for his six. First job fifty for his first ring, bro. I'm happy for boy. Legendary man. performance. Happy for the man. Happy for him. How man. could Yo. you hate on? How, how could you, you not be Giannis, bro? How could you not be happy for Giannis? Bro? He looked just he like that. He looked just like that emoji though when he was crying though. <laughs> I don't know why he, he like a little cartoon character Like he was biting his He too I'm, big to be crying that way bro, like, I'm like I'm ready for niggas To meme that shit I'm like where's the Bro for real I'm ready to laugh <laughs> at <laughs> some shit I'm ready to laugh at some shit Cause that nigga was, He put his top lip inside his lip had to lip out like a baby yeah, Like bro did, you bro. know like <laughs> don't be Like that nigga You really cry no, like Giannis that No Giannis really do look harmless Real alive yeah, He look he harmless But like he a, built like he for destruction no, nah, like, yeah, he looked like he, like, a cool guy. Like, yeah. he's, like, he don't be trying to be on that fighting shit. But I feel like when it's time, that nigga's, <laughs> that's the wrong nigga yeah. to fight. <laughs> I don't think anybody like would try to fight Giannis. You're going to have uh, to. You know what's crazy? I really, like, just imagine trying to fight a seven-footer that's, like, this that long, bro. Bro, and strong, and bro. Strong. He's pushing he's, through. Bro. Pushing bro, through. Bro, like, he will, like, if he just pushes us, like, with a little force, bro, yeah, we're I'm flying, probably, I'm bro. going back. Bro, it's no joke. I'm getting right back up though. I, I can't act like he did something. That's that's the joke when you get knocked down and you gotta pop back up to let everybody know he ain't do nothing to you. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> he push you right in chest, you fly back. You like, man, that one dang, bro. Like, what's up? Like, what's good with you? Oh, you gotta play him. I'm like, bro, what you doing? I ain't even mean it like that. Why you take it then? Or if it was rough, you gotta show niggas that you can like take a hit. Like, you ever, yeah. Well, you ever been hit and that jump like hit hit you hard, but you got like in the stomach, but you gotta play it off. Like, yeah, hit, hell yeah. In your head, you like, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! In front of a crowd, you can't let these niggas <laughs> let me know, let them see me wheezing and shit. Hell no, nah, I'm <laughs> holding that bitch. Act stomach. like that's like, that like a hoe. Uh, that might be the time I got the uh, wind knocked out of me. Hell it was yeah. like playing backyard football. Hell. Uh, me, it was me and your cousin going at it all day. I'm I'm tackling him. I almost said the wrong word. And it's gonna sound crazy. I'm tackling him. <laughs> he tackling me. I had tackled him into like a grill and he got mad. So I'm running. Damn. I'm running. I think it's NFL Street. <laughs> That's what I would was. I tackled him into like somebody's grill. And then I'm running, right? Dude mad. And the thing is, I've seen him when he was mad before. Cause like, like one time he was mad, this, he was mad at this older nigga, nigga taller than us, everything. He took a slide off, <laughs> looked at the nigga and threw it at his face. Like like an African father. Oh. He popped the slipper off, said, fuck, cracked him. Anyway, I'm running that dude. He picked me up. I'm, I've never picked up like this before. <laughs> and then he turned me around in the air. And then slammed me like that on my stomach. I was just wheezing. But back to Giannis. <laughs> I was wheezing, bro. I was over there hurt, sick. Pain in my stomach. Bruh, that has... That has to be a different type. Nah, but how how bad do you feel for CP three now that it's over? Do you, you care know, that much? 
Um, I, I don't feel- care as much as I thought I would care yeah, about him losing <laughs> no, because I'm so happy for Giannis right now. So, I mean, CB3, get your ass in the finals next year and do some Just shit, join the bro. Lakers, bro. That's all you got to do. Hell no. Nah, Suit man. up with LeBron. Hell Easy, nah. They already talking about uh, Westbrook having, um like, they already try to acquire him. Yeah. That's just rumors, though. Yeah, I don't know if I, yeah but, going, like, what's really true, happening bro. with that? Uh, you saw Bradley Bill requested a trade? They said that he's going to request a trade after the draft. Hey, hey, you listen. Yes, Bradley, get the fuck out of Washington. I'm no, sorry. Bro. You've been trapped there for so long, and you deserve a better Who's team. Who's Russ going to have? You've been trying to hold it down, bro. It's going to be OKC all over again, literally. The last the last dude he had was Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill leave. It's just Russ the only star on the team. Bro, what do you think? You think Russ is going to stay? Yeah, because that's the, re- the reason Russ went is because he said he wanted more of that role he had in OKC. And he couldn't get that playing with James Harden. Even though he averaged like 20-some points last season. like He acted like he was averaging 19. He was bugging out. But... Um, I think he might stay. I don't know. Mm. Uh, maybe I don't know. If somebody offer him something better, and he see a, a chip. I feel like after everybody seeing Giannis win, I feel like everybody motivated to stay with their team. Yeah, I feel like or like or just hungry for a chip because it just looked like it looked it nice. Looks so good for Giannis yeah. because he worked for that shit. He worked Two hard MVPs. As fuck. I think what seven time All Star, um, and a chip. Shit, crazy. Yeah, man. well deserved. That's Hall of Fame well deserved already. I, I tip my hat to he Giannis, on the ballot. Bro. So how do Giannis that shit crazy, bro. Put up fifty a fifty piece, bro. Fifty ball, bro. In the in, in the, the closeout close games to close out the series. You bro. think Devin Booker is gonna win the ring in Phoenix? Um, I feel like it's possible. You Just called the, it though with Phoenix going yeah. that far back on episode five. But my, I gotta give a shout out to my man's young male who was believing in the Suns from the jump. Yeah, I saw him post pictures in the in the Suns jersey, Nash jersey from the jump, bro. Way before was I he said a Suns anything. fans or he's. Just, yeah, I think he, he said he's a Suns fan. He told me he's a Suns fan, but like, yeah, I think it all started from when 2K19. I remember I used to go to his crib and he used to, his uh, my career nigga was on the Suns, so he used to like really fuck with the Suns like that. So I guess it all started from that. I don't know. I gotta ask him though. But yeah, that I'm, shit cool. I, that's me with the Wizards. I'm not a big Wizards fan, but I just want Russ to get a ring. Yeah, I'm, I mean I'm a home team. Like so that's my, my, my my career player on the Wizards. <laughs> I always cheer for the like the home team. I used to be a Bulls fan, but like. Uh, I ain't really like following. Cause you want to like be from that. Chicago, nigga. That's where you want to be from, for real. You want to be from Chicago? No, I just liked uh, at the time Nate Robinson. I, I was a Nate Robinson fan. I liked Jimmy uh, Butler. D, D Rose fan too. Yeah, D Rose for sure. D Rose. I used to love D Rose. I got D Rose. And you, and you said you love Michael Jordan. You said he, nah, nah. You said you love him. Nah, nah. nah oh, okay. I thought you said that. Nah. I would if I would have loved you, Michael Jordan. I would have said that first. I sure. thought you said that because you said you hate this new Space Jam that came out because the first nah, one. Nah, 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 it was all about Mike. I ain't even see the. I ain't even see the new one. That, that's because you love this first one because nah, Mike Jordan so much. I gotta watch. It. I, I saw it. the. I, support I saw LeBron. The, I love I LeBron. Saw the second one, man. Shout out to LeBron. I just gotta say, first of all, all y'all older people that's mad. Shut uh, the fuck up. What is? What's wrong with y'all? Yeah, good. Like you had work the next day and you watching Space Jam complaining. Like you had to go back to your job and, and when get I say yelled at by Mildred. Up, I'm not talking about all adults. I'm talking about the ones who are just whining about it. Yeah, like, like it's you really whine, not that deep. You mad because LeBron beat them by a thousand and twenty four, and they lost. Like what are you talking about? Let like, the kids enjoy this shit. This is like a a, a, a pinpoint in their life. And I know the I, oh I don't know if all the kids enjoying it, but I know my like my brother. I saw him. I think a few days after he watched it. All he kept talking about was Space Jam. Well, I mean, yeah, and I was like that certain crowd. Yes, I'm saying. So, so I'm saying like the kids are liking it. Well, just that's just like back then. There was a certain crowd of kids that liked it. And, and imagine back then the grown the people back then complaining, "Why am I going to join lose by 900 in the first quarter, but then come back? Like, what did you what did you complain about? I mean, well, they wouldn't be complaining because that was the first movie. Maybe. I know, but I'm saying that's my point though. Like people are complaining now. Oh, like imagine how, like, look, just, okay. y'all look like, goofy. It was the first one. Y'all look goofy. Y'all comparing it to the last one, and it's yeah. like the last one wasn't that good either. Yeah. I honestly like the movie was. It was entertaining enough for what I went in there for. But as a movie, I probably give it a six out of ten. But it wasn't terrible. Like like the, as a movie, I give it a six out of ten. But like what it gave me, what I was expecting, it gave me some parts. I was like, okay, I laughed here. I laughed here. And like, this is LeBron's first movie. So yeah. Like I'm not, you know. I'm not mad at like who's taking it that serious. Like I guess the Godfather too or something. Like <laughs> they go in there and expect some like Academy Award. Like type it's supposed shit. to be a Marvel movie. Like, they supposed to be a, they supposed to get an Oscar all this shit. Like, yeah, relax, bro. This relax. Is, I feel like this just was for play play. It's the it's the Toon Squad versus the Goon Squad, and you mad? Uh, yeah, just like, relax, just relax. <laughs> go watch an old movie, bro. Go watch go watch the Space Jam from the '90s if you want to uh, be happy. Go watch Titanic. If that's the one that you like. Go watch Titanic. Watch Titanic. Because it's an old movie. Oh, Okay. They probably like that. Yeah, shit. go watch Citizen Kane or something. Go watch Back to the Future. Go watch Rocky. Go watch Jaws. 
<laughs> Jaws is a good ass movie, bro. I I watched that when I, I was young and said because it used to always school. be on TV, bro. They showed it to me in school and I was like, this one's hard. Like, yeah, you know bro. Like, I, I feel like they didn't show it to me then. I would have never saw it. Though. I used to be scared of it, but then one time, ta- one day, I was like, you know, I'm gonna just watch this shit. And mm. I was like, damn, it's a good ass movie. It was tough when they he was he was at the end when he was munching on dude yeah, in the boat. Yeah, bro. I thought they was good, bro. He that chewed that dude's stomach crazy, out, bro. bro. That movie's crazy. I yeah. like I like to try to watch old movies now because I feel like they're just so much better than movies nowadays. I feel like with a movie I've been looking for like honestly anything, but something that's entertaining. More so than something gonna make me laugh though. That's more so I've been looking for. But I don't know how you feel about this whole Jeff Bezos going to the moon and then and everybody mad at his comments when he said, Thank thank you, Amazon workers for paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ain't that low-key just some billionaire that's shit, some though? That's some flexing-ass shit. <laughs> some billionaire shit. Like. Honestly, like, you can't even be mad at bro because he worked his ass off for this. Like, put in the hours and dedication to create this whole big business and have people work for him and create more money and just invest in shit and just get rich as fuck to be able to do what the fuck you want to do, like go to space. See, I disagree with you, but I'm going to get my jokes off before I get serious. <laughs> bro said... To everybody, thank y'all, all y'all people standing 16 hours on your feet working, and all the people that I won't give no extra time to, thank you for paying for me to just to go in space for a little bit and come back. Appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> like, yo, I ain't gonna lie though, that's what's up with the space stuff? Like, are we really trying to go travel to space? Like, I don't know what this whole obsession is. I guess, I, it's, you know what? I, I think it is because there's this whole conspiracy of we've actually never been to space, which I believe. So I feel like there's people that are trying to really. Get there and actually do some shit up there, like you don't think you they've never been in orbit at least or nothing. I don't know. I feel like they've just. I feel like I don't think they went to the moon, but I think yeah, we like, like, I think we went to like in orbit. I feel like we've been like out of this atmosphere. But I don't like know about the, I don't I've, know about the moon. I've heard. I was. I was hearing some shit about there's like this thin layer called some shit. It's like there's there's a word for it, and it's just that like they they haven't been past that shit. Like that's some, supposedly that's like this like. Like your official space or some shit like that. I feel like we've been in you space. I feel like we've been in Earth's orbit. I feel like we've been at least out there where the satellites are and stuff like that. But I do not think we've been to the moon. I think they're just trying to. I feel like they're just. It's just like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like these billionaires are trying to just find a way off this planet. And I feel like yeah. everybody's saying the same shit. But I really feel like it's true. Or at least maybe not for them, but for their kids. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're or, or their future. Yeah. future. Type I, shit. I don't know, but back to Jeff Bezos' comments. The cop when he said thank you, Amazon customers and workers. Amazon customers like that's whatever. I, like I don't care that these people are paying for his service. They funded him to be able to do this. Who cares? Anybody mad about that? You sound crazy. But um, the workers jump. I don't understand, bro. Because like the, that dude has done some. Remember during quarantine when his customer um, employees were getting sick and they couldn't come to work at what's that junk called? Uh, what's his store? Is it Whole Foods? I forgot. He got a grocery. He owns one of these grocery stores, and they they couldn't and they and they needed more hours. And instead of like helping people out more pay or whatever, he said to his employees, "Why don't y'all give them your hours?" And it's like, bro, because I I need my hours. Like, why would you not just help these people out in the pandemic who are already struggling, working these low wage jobs, and now they sick can't get these hours, and now you tweaking out like this, like. That's the type of shit I see why people mad about that. But anybody that's like, oh, why would he thank the customers? Like, because they're paying for his services. Like, y'all, right. pay, y'all paying for these Amazon services. I don't know. But I just, we, they say in five years, six years, we should be able to go up there and just like, it should be something you can take up there and go in orbit for a little bit, take some pictures, whatever, and come back down. Would you do that? Yes. If I had enough money. Okay. For the experience. You would be some classic shit. Yeah, it will be hard though. To show my kids, I just want to take a picture in front of. The, I just want to take a picture in front of the Earth behind me. Like imagine, like you got some grandkids and be like, look at y'all, look at look at what I did when I was. <laughs> but what if that becomes the norm by then? I just want, if it, if they do it, I want to be one of the first. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm framing my shit. I'm framing my yeah, shit. Yeah, because you know everybody gonna have if it becomes like a normal thing, everybody gonna have their, their profile picture as like the Earth hell, behind me. Hell yeah, I'm gonna that be the shit, first. Yeah, first yeah, nigga that's gonna be like, What's up, yo? What's up? I'm on that. Speaking about space, what do you think about Lil Uzi buying his own planet? I heard that John, they was like he got finesse. He spent like thirty three thousand or something like that. Like, what the fuck you going to do on a planet, Uzi? <laughs> Name it. That's it. Yo, if he, I think, but did he say it or what? Yeah, he said. You think it's cap? Because the price of that jewel in his head, forehead, that jump, I heard that was cap too. That it was not worth that much. That he should be capping. Well, so. Jeff Bezos' girlfriend like fucking announced it and shit. And the Uzi, Uzi quoted it? it, and Uzi quoted it and was like, "I told y'all I had something special coming or some shit like that." 
Okay. But I'm saying, do you think he paid that much, though? I don't know what the fuck he paid. That's what I'm talking about. Not if he bought the planet, but I'm saying, like, if he paid 30000 I feel like he paid a hefty amount. But I've heard people say they bought planes before and not tax like that. Really? Or uh, my fault, stars. Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, stars? That's yeah, my different. Fault, my fault. A whole stars. planet? Yeah, it's different. A whole planet? That's crazy. That's like a that whole world. That's, that's, that's a whole that's earth. That's looking hard flex, though. That's hard flex, but what you going to do? Name it? That's it. You ain't going to fly on it. But no, that, no, no, no. That's still hard, though, because like when people look that up on earth, they got to call your planet what you named it. That's in history books. That's a part of history. What if it's going to be called, like... What would you name your planet? I'm going to name it some dumb shit. What? Like... They going to put this in science books. So they're going to teach this in class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I want to say some dumb... That's why I want to say some dumb shit. All right, like, off, off top. Go ahead. Dumb shit. What's the dumbest shit you can name a planet? Fuck. Plantar. Plantar? Oh. Oh, you want to do, is it like, names like that? He said plants hard. I don't know. I just came with some shit. But I'm, I'm trying to say for you. You said you gonna name it some dumb shit. Um, I'm gonna name it. Um, but I'm gonna name it spinning ball. Spinning ball. Because <laughs> what the planet is is a ball that's spinning. I'm gonna name it like. Damn, I want to say some really uh, stupid he, shit. Yeah, he can't even think I of the stupid s- shit. Uh, He's trying to say something so stupid. His uh, brain can't even. His brain smart. can't even too imagine smart. it. He too like. Smart. He needs something that dumb. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I heard something on, next time. on another podcast. I want to find. I had saved the clip. Cause I want to talk about it on here. But I'm just going to say what it was about before I find it. <clears throat> Dude was like, there's people around the world who go on the internet and they censor stuff so that we don't have to see it. Hmm. So it's like stuff like to protect us. And it's like stuff that would honestly be like disgusting or whatever to us. But I was thinking about that. And I think that I've heard that before. So I do think those people are real. But. Um, dude, mess. They didn't get something one time, bro, because I saw it. It was on Twitter, and like it was the reason I got off Twitter like two years ago. I remember I was already thinking about getting off Twitter for a little bit, and then I was on like the replies on this one tweet, and there's this video, bro, <laughs> and it was like it was so weird. It was like a loop. It was like a house, of a barn. Everything's been black and white, and you zoom in through the house through a window, and it's a giant Mickey Mouse with a caterpillar body. With nipples on the body. And it's a bunch of people with a machine hooked up to it. And they're pulling milk out of it. And the Mickey Mouse is just making noises. And like I was like, it was so weird to me. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I just got off Twitter for like six months. There's some weird ass yeah, shit. Yeah, like, like I'm like, yo, what the? Like who, <clears throat> like, who thinks of this? That's what I'm saying. And you just post it here for what? And it's not like them just be going viral or nothing. It's like, you just be in a, you just in a random it's spot. There. And you just Yeah, it's just a random spot and it's there. It's because somebody like retweeted it or some shit on some random shit. Like who be like in your brain like I'm gonna make this on here, put this on here, and put it on Instagram for two people to see it. Yeah, <laughs> and then it, like it might go viral or some shit, or like or it just might get popping like <clears throat> or like used by a specific crowd. Yeah, and then and deeper into is. what he was saying, he was saying like the people that do that stuff, they become like. Shells of themselves They become like Quiet and reserved Because they seen so much Crazy shit like Oh yeah I can they, only imagine On the internet too It's just like I feel like the internet Just amplifies People's minds Especially because They can hide behind a screen Yeah And it amplifies thoughts That they think they're head yeah. That they don't have to say Because like Now you don't know The face with that You know what I'm saying Like And they can do They can say some shit That they wouldn't say Like you know In real life Yeah Some shit like that You ever done something like that Not really I'm not really that type You ever made like An account And like Did something Yeah Probably <laughs> on some dumb shit. Oh, you can't remember? I can't remember, but I probably did it in my lifetime. On um, my early days in the internet, I, I would do some. That's the type of stuff I think were funny, like just trolling people from like another account. But like early, early days, not like you know teenage type shit like before. Yeah, that. you were. When I used to troll, uh, what's his name? Beanart and them. I used to remember the song. You used to do it too. Remember the song? Uh, what's what's that one jump? The cookout jump. Remember <laughs> at the cookout? And thing? it was dancing and shit. It was dancing. It was dancing at the cookout. That whack ass shit that was yeah. going on. And, I, and we just showed that nigga from a fake account. I'm like, yo, this shit ass. <laughs> and it got like a lot of retweets and likes. And I was like, damn, I should have said this from like my main account. Because <laughs> like, yeah, I rocked was I rocked with BNR. I like this content. Yeah, but he but was wild. That song was corny. That shit was. And no, he had that one joke. It was like, it was like suck my joke. Oh, yeah. That joke. I know. Yeah. 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 That, that one actually, actually went viral, I think. 
And you liked it. You used to crank that shit all the time when you got the aux. No. <laughs> you like, son, my jump. And I'm like, but it's three niggas in the car, bro. What you doing? Like, what's going on? Right, now he's wild. <laughs> that never happened. It's a car full of niggas, that and you playing happened. that? What's, what's going on? He's wilding right now, guys. <laughs> Don't believe him. You watching the Olympics? Yeah, I guess I watched. Hey, that's your boring as hell to you. <laughs> he said. I haven't watched yeah. anything yet. You got you. I think you, talk, you were talking about like you were watching the three on three women's basketball, and that kind of sparked an interest in my. That jump was interesting. Like, it was funny about watching it. It looked pretty cool. The way you were explaining it, how like the other country was like so terrible, and then like and it was gassing them up. Yeah. Like it wasn't the worst. Like one the the one uh, white shorty from France, she was going crazy, but the other one who she was tall, like she had. She, she double dribble, picked up her dribble up and down, um, travel, all that. But the America beat them seventeen to ten. But the way they had to play it, bro, is like. And you said the other shorty on the other team was tough, and they only had ten points. This is what I'm about to say. So you only play half court, obviously, and it's twenty minutes. No, like, not like you don't check up the ball, nothing. So let's say I score on you, you get the ball. It's <laughs> it's not make it take it. You get the ball. You have to run it back out to the line, and it's twelve seconds on the shot clock. Oh my god. For gosh. 20 minutes straight. That's hard. Yeah. That's cool. 20 minutes I straight. I like that. Yeah. It was, and it was actually fast paced. It was actually interesting. It keeps everybody moving, no breaks and shit. But I would be too tired, bro. I'd be able to go yeah, probably like gotta, maybe two to five minutes and I'd be like, sup. Good, good condition. And I'd be like, sup. Yeah, because they was sprinting and you only have 12 seconds on the shot clock. 12, 12 seconds. And that, what was the score? Uh, seven, 17 to 10. Oh, 17 to 10. Yeah. I thought you said 71 to 10. <laughs> you thought they I got blown like, out the water like that? That's why I was like, and you said the other girl was tough? <laughs> she got 10 buckets. <laughs> it was 71 to 10. Yeah, 17 uh, to 10. Okay, 17 in 20 10, minutes, okay. that's what the U.S. dropped on them. Nah, but it, it was interesting. I feel like this Olympics, I'm going to tune in. Usually, I don't tap in to the yeah. Olympics like that. I watch like, I either watch highlights or I watch, if, if I see somebody else watching like track and field and, you know what I'm saying, I might watch somebody. I like around. the Winter Olympics. More than summer? Yeah, I like watching the bomb sled, the bobsled niggas. What you like? Yeah, wait, you like yeah. Winter Olympics more than Summer Olympics? I, I think so. Bro. I just really like bobsled. That's my favorite like Olympic category. No word. Yeah. You want to be like cool runners, like bobsled? You like to go bobsledding? Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm too scared <laughs> to do that shit. They I'm moving like to ninety to like a hundred some odd miles bro, per hour. They be going so fast, dumb. bro. They be and going when, dumb. And when they shit fuck up, it looks like total like tragic wait like, they be crashing yeah like they shit will fuck up or something. i ain't shit. never seen them crash yeah bro dang that probably is tragic but they right? be gone. and it's ice bro that shit is unforgiving <laughs> they be gone i know they be fine going that's bro, probably, I, I wanna, my life. i'm about to look up like a boss like crash compilation now yeah you should i was uh speaking of olympics naomi did the little torch jump for japan oh, hell yeah that's it, tough it was tough when she did it looked tough but she um she was on the cover of sports illustrated swimsuit jump yeah, and I saw that. Megan, what's that lady name? One of them Megan white. Megan Stallion. <laughs> nah, one of the white reporters. It's uh, like Megan Kelly, something like that. Uh, she was attacking her because remember, Shorty said she was like, she didn't want to talk to reporters right now. Right. And she was like, because she, what's the word? And, uh, anxiety, something like that. Anxiety. Antisocial, I, I guess, right? And so she Mental said, health. so yeah, this label is that. And she stepped down because all the, the pressure they put on her. So the cover comes out and Shorty's like, oh, so she could pose for this, but she can't talk to reporters. And then she was like, if you were, she simply said, like, if you was a real journalist, then you would have done your research and known that I took these pictures a year ago and blocked Dumb her ass. and blocked Shorty. You think Shorty be like, oh, my fault. Shorty's like, oh, so she's so scared of me. She blocked me because I'm telling the truth and that she blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yo, like, we're live, bro. Just think about the fact that if you're an athlete and you say, hey, I don't feel comfortable talking to reporters right now. My mental health is kind of depleted. And people are like, no, it's not. That's a part of the job. Do that. You probably do that right there. You get paid millions. You get paid millions. And it's like, bro. My, but then when somebody killed himself, somebody that like Robin Williams, you know what I'm saying? Like, they always like, how do we know? Like, what could we, we do? We should have paid more attention. What we could we handled them with more care? <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up, y'all. I just think like. So wishy washy and, and hypocrites and, yeah. and, and, anger, and ignorant, excuse me. Yeah, it's just like, it reminds you of those dystopia movies when everybody pretends to care for face, yeah. but at the end of the day, everybody's like, that ain't nothing wrong with them. Ain't right. nothing wrong with them. Like, they can have all the mental health conversations they want to. I just feel like at the end of the day, nobody truly cares unless it's them. Honestly. That's what it always comes off to me at the end of the day. Somebody. Yeah. For them two seconds that happened. Like, remember, the, remember when Chad with Bozen died? Everybody was like, I didn't even know people was making fun of him, honestly. But people was like making fun of him. It I came seen out. It on t- I seen a couple jokes on While he was alive? Yeah. Dang, I ain't seen him. I seen it. But he, uh, they, then everybody right after that, he was like, see, y'all gotta be nice, y'all be nicer. Week that later. That happens for, yeah. A, a week. week later. 
I don't know. It's just nasty on the internet. It bro. really is it's nasty, nasty, bro. It's so disgusting, bro. Because they're like so quick to troll or some shit or make fun of somebody or criticize. When you hear somebody get on the mic and they be like, I took her Deja in sixth grade that she hurt me. And my mama son, why you hate pain rap? I was trying to rap a freestyle like, what one. The fuck was that? I was trying to come in with one, but I, I couldn't. I hate Deja. I said, I took her Deja when I was 16. She hurt me. Why you hate pain rap? You used to make no, it. No, I said I hate struggle rap. That's, that I don't really. What's fuck. The, pain and struggle rap, same thing. No, struggle rap is like I'm hungry. That come shit. from the trenches, we ain't even have to eat. Hung on to uh, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That pain shit, like young boy, all that pain in my body. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you trying, you trying like, to shoot shots? Thing, like you trying to shoot shots? Like, no, like I like that song though. Nah, but why yeah. you say that specific line? Because of all this pain in my body, sometimes yeah. I can't hold it, bro. Okay. So I let it loose. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you, yeah, you, you being funny. But um, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's just like struggle rap. I just really can't relate to it. So it's just like some shit that I don't really fuck with, and I uh-huh. can't turn up to it. Like, so that, when people so. say another day in the trenches, crack here, watch my push. You can't relate to that. I mean, like that shit crank though to me. Oh, uh, so, so if it crank, it, if it, it, I relate to it or it crank. Okay. Then that's how I. Okay. That's I can't get I mad at you for that. Music. I can't get mad at you for that. Yeah. You was showing a video earlier of dude in the Walmart really trying to be Spider Man say today, but he had the wrong person. He kicked Shorty all in her chest. This dude, sweet chin music, the a girl. A lady. Oh, it was her face. I don't know if it was her face or her chest. Hold on. That man. He had a Spider Man costume on. Like, what are the cha- like? Wh- I be wondering what goes through people's mind that really think they're superheroes or some shit. Like, <laughs> niggas would really dress up full costume and try to get to fight in niggas. At first, I thought it was... Yo, at first, he put her to sleep. Like, is it her face or her chest? He kicked her chest and then threw a right hook to her face. Oh, yeah, he punched her in her face. Golly. Like, How do you feel about fuck? videos when you see shorties get whooped and dudes don't do nothing? Honestly, that's some whole shit because as as a man, I feel like it don't matter what is going on. You're supposed to at least like try to interfere and make sure yeah. she's protected in some type of way. Because they or just let Shorty get up. dropped. Yeah, and they just standing around. What and if shit. it's something like you see girl keep hitting dude five times and he keep walking away and then he just turn around and he wop, wop, she wop. She deserve it. And he going dirty. She deserves it. <laughs> I'm saying I ain't doing shit. You shouldn't have put your hands on him. He 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 gave you more than three strikes. He gave you five. And that's your strikes. rule. The three strike rule. That's your rule. That's your golden rule. Yeah. If you strikes. if you know one thing about this podcast, no three things. Bill's got the three strike rule. You might be a triple S, and his favorite artist is Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the three things you gotta remember. Yeah. Pretty much. That's but who I am. That video remind me of something that should be on Grind Face though. Grind Face. I hate I I hate and love a Grind Face because like Bro, me too, you just know somebody some... gonna get done dirty or they're gonna take it too far. Or like they do some fucked up shit. They say some fucked up shit on Grind Face. And I be like, come on, Grind Face, what the fuck? But I just wanna see some. Oh, they be saying crazy stuff yeah, on Grind Face? Sometimes they do. Uh, like but yeah, like I had, some... I, I had I'm falling for a brick. Yeah, me too. I am oh, falling did? for a brick and then like one like I wanted to see this video and then like I seen it. No, I seen a video on Twitter that it went viral. Like, cause you know sometimes they videos on Twitter be going viral, yeah. like, like random. Cause they be posting the most wild stuff. Yeah, they don't go viral. yeah. So, and I started following it again. And then like, <laughs> maybe we should take that recipe, make another account <laughs> under something other name, nothing but grind. And then, <laughs> <laughs> wait, that sounds a little freaky, though. Hey, boss, that boss, 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 boss. Hey, yeah, nah, we nah. gonna get the wrong type of hell followers. Nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> but now nah, he make nothing but uh, f- nothing but grinding face and nah <laughs> hell nah none of them none of them nothing but discussion we good nothing but discussion okay nothing but discussion well nothing but discussion man this is episode twenty four like 24, Kobe like Kobe like on Kobe Nigga, you can't hold Walling me like Ginobili switch it to the right hand left hand you don't know me but you owe me shorty let's go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 24 though uh, We about to Also we gonna let y'all know Ahead of time We about to go on The biggest guest run We went on in a little bit we about to go, So like if you wanna be on You know what I'm saying Just let us know what you If you have something To actually talk about too. Line, If you got line. something You wanna promote Something like that But again make sure Y'all like Subscribe Keep showing love On the audio Y'all show big love On She Make It Clap Episode Yeah Jones going dummy Yeah yeah Dummy Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, Hey keep showing love Like that You gonna, yeah. you know what I'm saying You gonna make us happy uh, also check out Spotify, Apple, and then that's it. 
No yeah. more discussion. We Keep the peace, gang. Hey, 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 oh, that's your baby.